my previous video we have already discussed about the nutrition respiration and the transpiration today in this video we shall continue learning about the life process and we shall study about the excretion what is excretion how does the excretion occurs in plants and also even animals so first of all what is excretion all know that all living organisms present on the earth they are made up of cells and these cells they are going to work continuously and they are going to perform the various biochemical reactions which is very much essential for the survival of life okay and as a result of these biochemical reactions the body the cells may generate some of the waste it okay, is a toxic waste and this toxic waste must be removed out of the body and this the process of removal of the toxic waste from the body we call it as an excretion so what is excretion excretion is a process of removal of the toxic waste from the body we call it as an excretion excretion can occur in both in plants and also in our animals so we will study in both how does it the excretion occurs in plants and also in our animals first we will study about how excretion occurs in plants in plants the major excretory products will be the carbon dioxide the oxygen and the water okay the major excretory products in plants will be carbon dioxide oxygen and water so these three major excretory products of the plants they are excreted from the plant body through uh, stomata through the leaves and the lenticels in the stems and we know that the plants do not have an specialized organ for excretion okay this waste this carbon dioxide oxygen and water they are excreted out from the plant body through a, a pores called as and stomata in the leaves and lenticels in the stems they are excreted through stomata in the leaves and lenticels in the stems so the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide waste is generated as a result of respiration process and it is excreted out of the plant body in the night okay it is excreted out from the plant body in the night and oxygen oxygen is a waste generated as a result of photosynthesis process okay and this is excreted from the plant body during the day time okay and carbon dioxide is excreted during the night it is generated as a result of respiration process and oxygen is generated as a result of photosynthesis process and it is excreted during the day time now what are we got it is generated both during the night and also in the day time it is excreted to the stomata in the leaves okay so this is about the excretory or main excretory products of the plants they are carbon dioxide oxygen and the water carbon dioxide is generated as a result of our respiration process oxygen is generated as a result of photosynthesis and water in both the cases so they are all three are excreted out from the plant body through a stomata in the leaves and lenticels in the stems so well apart from these three uh, waste the plants also generate some of the other waste like the aromatic oils the tannins the alkaloids in a small quantities and we also know the plants they do not have any specialized organs to excrete the waste so the plants starts to store this waste in different parts of the plant body it can be the leaves it can be the bark of the trees it can be the fruits okay it starts to store the waste in the different parts of the plant body and then this waste are excreted as the as as the when the leaves starts to shed off the peel the uh, bark of the tree starts to peel and the root roots fall off and when this they start to fall off the waste is also excreted from the plant body so this is about the excretion in plants now we will learn about the excretion in animals usually animals have definite excretory organs through which the waste products and water are eliminated different animals have different excretory organs based on the nature of their diet and constitution the major excretory products of the animals are nitrogenous compounds such as ammonia urea uric acid water bile pigments okay so now we'll discuss about the excretion in different organisms 
In single celled organisms such as amoeba, paramecium, the main waste products are carbon dioxide, excess water and the nitrogenous waste. The carbon dioxide is removed by diffusion through cell membrane. The nitrogenous waste and excess water are removed by contractile vacuum. Some multicellular organisms such as earthworm possess a tubular structure called nephridia which act as an excretory organs. Apart from this, the moist skin of earthworm also act as an excretory organs. In insect, the excretory organ is in malphigian tubules and in flatworms it is flame cells. Now we will discuss about the human excretory system or excretion in humans. Human body has a specialized organ for removal of the waste products from the body. These organs include lungs and kidneys. The major waste products produced by humans are carbon dioxide, urea and undigested food particle. Our lungs excrete the carbon dioxide which we have already studied the respiration and our kidneys they excrete urea which we will study now. The urinary system in human beings consists of a pair of kidneys you can see here in the image it consists of a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and an urethra. Kidneys. Kidneys, they are the reddish brown bean shaped structures lying towards the back of your body above the wrist on either side of vertebral column. The left kidney lies higher than the right kidney. Next is ureters. These, ure these are the pair of whitish narrow tubes which open from both the kidneys to urinary bladder. In other words, we can say the ureter connects the kidney to the urinary bladder. You can see in the image the ureter. Next we have is an urinary bladder. It is a bag which stores the urine for some time. Next is an urethra. It is a tube through which a urine is passed out from the body. Internally, the kidney is made up of numerous microscopic units called nephrons. A nephron is a structural and functional unit of excretion. Each kidney has a millions of nephrons. So this is the structure of nephrons. Each nephron, it has a cup shaped cavity which we call it as an a Bowman's capsule at its upper end. The lower end of the Bowman's capsule is tube called tubule. The tubule is connected, you can see the tubules here. The tubules is connected to the Bowman's capsule, they are at the one end while other end is connected to the collecting duct of the kidney. Within the Bowman's capsule, there is a bundle of blood capillaries called glomerulus. So now we will study the mechanism of urine production. So now we know that the kidney is made up of numerous microscopic units called nephrons and each nephron it has a cup shaped cavity called as Bowman's capsule and within the Bowman's capsule there is a bundle of blood capillaries called as glomerulus. One end of the glomerulus is attached to the renal artery which brings the dirty blood containing the urea into it and the blood is filtered in a glomerular capillaries. Okay. The blood is filtered in a glomerular fil capillaries and the water and the waste they enters into an Bowman's capsule. Some of the substance in the initial filtrate such as glucose, amino acids, salt and major u amount of water are selectively reabsorbed as the urine flows along the tube. The amount of water reabsorbed depends upon how much excess water there is in the body. The urine forming in each kidney eventually enters the long tube, the ureter, which connects the kidney with the urinary bladder. Urine is stored in a urinary bladder until the pressure of the expanded bladder leads to the urge to pass it out to the ureter. The bladder is a muscular, so it is under the nervous control and we can usually 
control the urge to urinate. Next, we will discuss about the artificial kidney. Kidneys are very much important organs for the life. They are very much vital for the survival. Several factors like infections, injury, a restricted blood flow to the kidneys reduce the activity of kidneys. This leads to the accumulation of the poisonous waste in the body, which even can lead to the death. In case of kidney failure, an artificial kidney we can use. An artificial kidney, it is a device which is used to remove the nitrogenous waste product from the blood to a dialysis. So, these artificial kidneys, they contain a number of tubes with a semi-permeable lining suspended in a tank filled with a dialysin fluid. And this fluid has an osmotic pressure has a blood, except it is devoid of the nitrogenous waste. The patient blood is passed through these tubes and during this passage, the waste product from the blood pass into the dialysin fluid by the diffusion and a purified blood is pumped back into the patient. This is similar to the functioning of the kidney, but it is a different since there is no reabsorption involved in this process. Normally, in a healthy adult, the initial filtrate in the kidney is about 180 liter per day. However, the volume actually excreted is only about a liter or two a day because the remaining filtrate is reabsorbed in the kidneys. So, this is about the excretion process. Hope you have understood about the excretion in plants as also in animals. So this is all about the excretion and also about the life process. So thank you.